In today's video, we will be taking a look at how you can fix your microphone if it's not working in Windows 10. There can be many reasons why your microphone has decided to stop working, so just bear with us and just follow each method. Also, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this. We have almost hit 25,000 subscribers and it would be amazing if we could hit that amount before the end of summer this year. So the first thing you need to do is just make sure your microphone is turned on. So just have a look at the switch and just ensure you have a green light or if you don't have a light indication on the microphone, then just make sure there is a button or something that's just clicked in or switched to on. If that's all well and good and your microphone does have a green light and it is turned on, then the next thing we want to do is just simply go ahead and unplug your microphone and plug it back in again if you are using a USB microphone. If you're using a microphone that goes into the check ports in the back of your computer, make sure you have definitely plugged it into the correct port, the microphone port. Normally it's red. After you have done all that, and if your microphone still isn't working, the next thing we want to do is just simply open up voice recorder. To do this, all you need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in voice. You now need to click on voice recorder and just go ahead and record something and see if it works. You might be wondering why I said use voice recorder. This is simply to rule out if you're having issues with a certain program or if it's your microphone. If you can hear your voice in voice recorder, then the issue is with the program that you're trying to use a microphone in. Then you will need to change the input that the program is picking up the microphone from. After you have done all that and you are still having issues with your microphone, then the next thing we now want to do is go ahead and right click on the start menu icon. You now need to click on settings and we now need to go ahead and click on privacy and you need to now find microphone on the left hand side and you need to just simply make sure everything is turned on. As you can see, my microphone access on this device is currently on and I have got allow apps to access my microphone. If this was turned off, then my microphone won't work in any of the programs. If I scroll down, you can see a list of all the apps that can access my microphone. Just make sure they are simply turned on. And below you can see that I am currently using my microphone in OBS Studio. Now, if I had had this option turned off, then my microphone would not work. So go ahead and work your way through the list and just make sure everything is turned on. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and right click on the speaker icon in the bottom right hand corner and you now need to click on open sound settings. You now need to scroll down and as you can see my microphone is being picked up because the bar is moving. You need to make sure your input device is on the correct option. As you can see, I do have two options here, and mine is the high definition audio device. Just make sure you do have the correct input. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on manage sound devices, and you now need to just scroll down and make sure your microphone isn't under disabled here. If your microphone is under disabled, then your microphone will not work. So go ahead and select your microphone, I'm just gonna use this as the example, and then click on enable and then you should then see your microphone listed under input devices. If your microphone is listed under input devices, but you still cannot hear your microphone, then the next thing we want to do is right click on the speaker icon again, but this time we need to click on sounds. You now need to go across to recording, and you now need to click onto your microphone, and you need to click on properties. We now need to go to levels, and you now need to make sure your microphone volume is turned up. If this is on zero or 20, then you will not be able to hear yourself through your microphone. If you are still unable to hear yourself, then go ahead and turn up the microphone boost. This will also help boost up your voice through your microphone. If your microphone still isn't working, then the next thing we want to do is just ensure you have the latest Windows 10 updates installed. To do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, 
then click on update and security and then click the check for updates button. As you can see, I do have an optional update installed. If you do have one, you can go ahead and download and install it and give that a try. Just make sure you do back up any important files though before doing any Windows updates because if anything was to go wrong, you don't want to lose those important files. So back those up. If your microphone still isn't working, then the chances are it is probably an issue with the driver that's installed for your microphone. So go ahead and launch up the website for the manufacturer of your microphone and see if there's a new driver update available. If there isn't a new update available, then the next thing you want to do is simply open up Device Manager by right-clicking on the Start Menu icon. You now need to click on Device Manager. And we now need to find audio input and outputs at the top. You now need to right-click on your microphone and go to Properties. And then you want to go to driver and just see what date you have on your driver. If you have a new date, so if mine said 2021 and today's the 5th, so if it had said the 4th and it's since yesterday I've been having the issues, then the chances are the new driver that's installed is the issue. So I will want to find an older driver or if the option lets me click on rollback driver. So like I said, try an older driver if you do have the latest driver installed for your microphone and if you don't then install the newest driver. If you still are unable to fix your microphone, that pretty much does unfortunately bring us to the end. The only other thing you can try is plug in your microphone into another computer if you have access to one. But unfortunately like laptops and stuff, microphones are built in so you can't actually do that. So the only other thing I can recommend is do a system restore if you have created a restore point or reinstall Windows as this may help resolve the issue. But make sure you do back everything up before reinstalling Windows. So I hope this tutorial has helped you out. If it has, smash that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.